Welcome back to our channel. Have you ever wondered how people in the past managed to purify water and ensure it was safe to drink? Today, we're embarking on a fascinating journey through time, exploring the ingenious methods humans have used over the centuries to clean their water. From the early 20th century to a thousand years ago, let's discover the evolution of water purification. Grab a glass of water and join me on this captivating adventure. A hundred years ago, in the early 20th century, the world was on the brink of technological revolutions. This period marked significant advancements in water purification, thanks to modern science. By the 1920s, many cities and industrialized countries had implemented sophisticated water treatment plants. One of the most transformative methods was chlorination. Discovered in the late 19th century, chlorination involves adding chlorine or chlorine compounds to water effectively killing bacteria and other pathogens. This method drastically reduced the prevalence of waterborne diseases such as cholera and typhoid fever, which were once rampant. Another widely used method during this period was sand filtration. Slow sand filtration systems, employing layers of sand to remove impurities, were particularly effective in eliminating suspended particles and certain pathogens. This technique improved the clarity and safety of drinking water. Additionally, some places began to experiment with ozone treatment. Ozone, a powerful oxidizing agent, was used to disinfect water by killing bacteria, viruses, and protozoa. This method, although less common than chlorination, provided an alternative approach to ensuring water safety. Let's travel back 250 years to the mid-18th century where the understanding of water purification was still rudimentary but evolving. During this time, distillation was a prominent method. Distillation involves boiling water and then condensing the steam back into liquid form, leaving impurities behind. This process was particularly useful for desalination, making seawater potable. Although distillation was energy-intensive and time-consuming, it provided a reliable way to obtain clean water especially in areas with scarce freshwater sources. In addition to distillation, coagulation, and sedimentation techniques were being developed. People used substances like alum to cause impurities in water to clump together, forming larger particles that would settle at the bottom of containers. This process improved water clarity, though it wasn't entirely effective in removing pathogens. Basic forms of filtration using sand and gravel were also employed. These filters could remove large particles and enhance the water's taste and appearance, laying the groundwork for more advanced filtration methods in the future. Now let's leap back another 250 years to around the 16th century. Water purification techniques during this period were still quite basic, yet they demonstrated remarkable ingenuity. Boiling water to kill pathogens was a common practice, especially during disease outbreaks. Boiling remains one of the most effective ways to purify water, as it can kill most bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Charcoal filtration was another method known at the time. Charcoal, particularly activated charcoal, has the ability to remove impurities and improve the taste and smell of water. This method was used to filter water through charcoal, providing a relatively simple but effective means of purification. In some cultures, herbs and plant extracts with antibacterial properties were added to water. For instance, Moringa oleifera seeds were used in certain parts of the world to purify water. These seeds have natural coagulant properties, helping to remove impurities and pathogens. Going back 1,000 years to the 11th century, during the Middle Ages and the height of Islamic civilization, water purification techniques varied across different cultures. Filtration through cloth was a common practice. People would filter water through layers of cloth to remove large particles and sediments. This method was simple but effective for basic purification needs. Another widely used method was allowing water to sit in large tanks or cisterns to let sediments settle. The clearer water at the top would then be used for drinking. This practice, known as sedimentation, improved water quality by removing larger impurities. Some cultures also used copper and silver vessels to store water. These metals have natural antimicrobial properties that can help reduce bacterial contamination, making the water safer to drink over time. Fast forward to today, 
and water purification has reached unprecedented levels of sophistication. Modern methods include advanced filtration systems, such as microfiltration, ultrafiltration, and reverse osmosis, which can remove nearly all contaminants from water. Ultraviolet disinfection is another cutting-edge technology used to kill bacteria, viruses, and other pathogens without adding chemicals to the water. Besides chlorination, other chemicals like chloramine and ozone are employed for disinfection, providing multiple layers of protection. Desalination has also advanced significantly, with techniques like reverse osmosis being used to turn seawater into potable water. This technology is crucial in arid regions, where freshwater resources are limited. These modern methods ensure that we have access to safe, clean water, a necessity for health and well-being. Water purification has indeed come a long way, evolving from basic methods like boiling and cloth filtration to advanced technologies like UV disinfection and reverse osmosis. Each era built on the knowledge of the previous, leading to the highly effective systems we have today. Understanding this history not only showcases human ingenuity, but also highlights the importance of clean water in our lives. That wraps up our journey through the history of water purification. From the early 20th century to a thousand years ago, it's clear that humanity has always sought ways to ensure access to safe drinking water. Stay tuned to our channel for more fascinating explorations into history and technology. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thanks for watching.